Much games. <laughs> To get up, sleepy head. I didn't know Kimmy had different heads. Ah, just another day or two. You have to get up, Kimmy. We have to prepare. Kimmy, we're leaving for our uh, seminar weekend. Duty calls. We certainly won't be having any fun this weekend. I'm a dadder away this weekend. That means something important. Oh no, Vicky, she's here. My brain is numb with horror. You two go sour while I think of something. No can do, Kimmy. You know we can't be seen by anyone but you. And we are, see? Rules. This is no time for rules. I wish we didn't have to follow those stupid rules. You got it. I'm betting this isn't good news. I'm betting this is really great news. But I'm not betting much. It says here that your wish broke the rules so badly that the next person to touch them will feel the wish power of a fairy stupid enough to grant such a silly wish. No! Okay, Squirt. Here's how it's gonna be. I'm in charge and you're nothing. Got it? I wish Ricky didn't have that book. Well, I wish you were still in bed asleep so I wouldn't have to deal with you and your freaky, disgusting habits. We're in trouble. Now we're in trouble in Timmy's dreams. Now we're spinning around in trouble in Timmy's dreams. Whee! This is serious business. It's only a matter of time before someone finds out what happens and we end up in fairy court. Yay! We get to see the judge give a hot, creamy justice for some unsuspecting creeps. Some unsuspecting creeps. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Silence, puny fairy. Wow, I saw that coming. Jordan Von Strangle, the most feared fairy drill instructor this side of the galaxy of really unpleasant fairy drill instructors. Don't worry, I'll talk this out of it. Order, order. The case of the fairies versus Cosmo and Wanda is in session. All right, Cosmo and Wanda, you have been accused of losing your copy of The Rules. How do you plead? I'll plead backwards. Silence! Any plea other than guilty will be met by loud shouting and a terrifying display of my muscle tone. So I think he means it. Jorgen von Strangle, you may begin the persecution. Thank you, Your Honor. I call to the stand, little Timmy Turner. Timmy, did your fairy godparents lose their copy of the rules? Yeah, but... He says yes! The court finds the accused guilty and sentences them to 49 and a half hours of impunity service to recover the missing copy of the rules or lose their fairy license forever. Um, what was the first choice again? Hand in your one. And your backup ones. Now, tiny fairies, you can take these training ones and get out of my sight! Forty-nine and a half hours? We'll never complete the impunity service in that time, not without our real wands! Not with that attitude! Come on, guys, we can do this! And I can do this! Ta-da! It's going to be a long forty-nine and a half hours! <laughs> training wands stick! Timmy, if we're to recover all of the pages on the rules, we really need your help! What do I have to do? Um, pretty much everything. But don't worry, we can help teach you the basics. You can use the control stick to move around and the C-stick to look around. Just remember, if you get stuck or you're not certain or you see something interesting, talk to us and we'll be there with some advice. Talk to us lots. 
Besides useful advice, we can give you all sorts of fashion tips. Try it now! Well done! You're so cool! Let's move to the next part of the training, hon. But talk to us again first! If the universe is giving you a bad point of view, it can be mean like that. You can adjust your view! Use the jump button to climb to the top of the steps, Kimmy! Oh, I can't jump high enough. You can jump twice to do a double jump, Pumpkin. It's twice as much fun and only two-thirds the calories. Be careful on these narrow planks, hon. You have to get across and press that big red button. What happens if I fall off? You'll move downwards really fast. It'll be fun. Uh, until you hit the ground, that is. They'll give us a little more magic. When we have a hundred, we get enough magic to give you another attempt at a task. If you fail the first time. Like in video games when you get a one-up? That's about the size of it. Push this button. games? It's a beautiful day outside, so it's our duty as kids to stay in front of the TV. I don't know, guy. Will you rats keep it down? Ugh, that's better. I wish you parasites would just go live in that stupid video game. Then you wouldn't bug me all the time. Uh-oh. Check a 
this cool VR suit. I wonder where AJ and Chester are. Entering level, Monkey of Doom. Who is that? That was the game. I think maybe she and I can have a chat. Excuse me, a uh, virtual voice lady? She's not very user-friendly. I can be friendly. Now, why do I doubt that? I can be friendly when I want. Cosmo, honey, stop taunting the virtual reality. We have work to do. I feel kind of sorry for the monkeys. Well, they kind of.
have reached the next level. Battle Star and Archetype. Cool! We've got this game left! You so do not! Oh, yes we do! And we haven't used any cheats! So why do your friends remain unrescued? He does have a point there! No problem! Chester and AJ must be around here someplace! Timmy? I know. And that's why I choose Wish for... Oh, oh, a snowmobile. A team of husky dogs. Secret news and snow powers. A snow plow. Well done, Timmy. A sensible wish. Sensible? I didn't get where I am today by being sensible. <laughs> information. It's probably best not to swim in it. It's possible to drown in an inch of information, let alone a sea. Hey, Jimmy, this is a really cool game, but I'm a bit stuck at the moment. I'll get you out, AJ. There must be a button or something nearby. Hey, look! I got another Crimson King card! A card book square of card books! Whoa! This game is filled with traps and surprises! You're trapped now, and it's my turn to free you! Teamwork! Yeah! A hovercraft! This is awesome! I'll bet I'll have to do a challenge to free Timmy. Pass through the green gate to complete the challenge. Ha! I was right! Let's go! This is such a cool game!
want a virtual reality console too. button to shoot pixel plasma right back at him. I hate 
Killing Brad Fanfan! Or shoot it with your data eating doom discs! Don't the beat that wait for your chest! Game, Timmy. Yeah, can't wait for the sequel. Round three one. Well done, Timmy. You did great. Yeah, and we found more pages of the rules. I feel more magical already.
here! I better warn Timmy! Timmy! Combo! Wake up! Huh? Is it tomorrow already? Quiet, Timmy! Something's happening! Wanda, what are you doing here? This is a boy camp. Yeah? So where are they? Pink, choo choo, tofu. Huh? Tomorrow, Wanda? Boys camp! The squirrely scouts have been kidnapped! What? What? And that's not all. Vicky has made another wish. It was too vague to tell what effect it will have, but it's likely to be diabolical. Oh, well, then that's okay. No, it's not, Cosmo. Hey, I wonder if Vicky's wish has anything to do with the kidnapping of the squirrely scouts. We better check this out. Thanks for the help, sugar, but this is man's work! As a squirrely scout, it is my duty to rescue any of my fellow scouts if they are captured by small girls. Paragraph 23A of the handbook. And I will prevail! I have my squirrely scout skills, my fleet feet, and a pocket knife with 32 handy implements, some of which have no clear use. Tang hot! Hey, is that you, Scotty? What happened? It was, it was horrible. They came out of the darkness while we slept. Oh, it's a good thing we sleep in our uniforms. Slow down, Scotty. Who, who are they? Why, the, the cream puffs, of course. We would have fought, but they came so quickly, so silently. <laughs> we didn't stand a chance. The cream puffs? The cream puffs have kidnapped the squirrely scouts? But why? I don't know. Thanks for rescuing me, man. <laughs> I just wish I could do more to help. Vicky is camp counselor for the cream puffs. I wonder if she has something to do with this. Or is it something to do with that wish she made? Well, you'll have to avoid the cream puff patrols if you want to get much further. Use all your squirrely skills, man. Use the terrain for cover, keep out of their line of sight, and anticipate their patrol routes. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. Thanks, Scotty. You stay here. You've done your part. I'll fight for you now. For all the squirrely scouts, I'll stay out of sight, keep to the shadows, <laughs> and defeat this cream puff terror. Scouts, honor. It's a cream puff. They're girl versions of us squirrely scouts. Yeah, but not nearly as tough and brave and stuff, huh? So how come they managed to kidnap all the squirrely scouts? I better not get spotted. There may be more around. I don't want to get captured, too. Hide behind Steph, and don't run in front of her. And watch her patrol route. Let's go. Oh, Timmy, look, that hut. Looks like there's a squirrely scout trapped in there. Rescue time. I'll take it easy. Use my stealth. <laughs> Looks like that cream puff suspects something. We should get out of here. If we were what? They got you too? I was asleep, Timmy. It was horrible. Any idea why the cream puffs are doing this, bud? It's not like them. Not like them at all. I heard something, Timmy. I heard one of the cream puffs talking. Something about badges. Oh, and a name. Vicky. Vicky? I knew it. Vicky's evil, bud. Pure evil. But I guess I gotta face her! Ooh, 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 ooh. That star wants to play hide and seek! We got two stars! What does that mean? Chuck! Timmy, you can't stay here. It's dangerous. I know. There are cream puff patrols everywhere. I wonder what's gotten into them. Their counselor, Vicky. She's insane, Timmy. <laughs> She's using the cream puffs as her private army. You stay here, Chuck. I'm gonna find some way to defeat Vicky. She's my babysitter, so in a weird way, she's my responsibility. Doing great! 
Not bad for a boy. <laughs> Timmy, am I glad to see you. You got any intel on the rocks? Anything you know about the cream puffs could be useful. Oh, the cream puffs are in a weird sort of daze. They do what their crazy counselor says without thinking, and she rules them with an iron hand. Sounds freaky, Marv. But iron hands rust, and I'm just a scout to get them wet. A crimson 
and gym cars all the way out here? I guess I'm just lucky. Not just lucky. You're pretty fortunate, too. <laughs> on the pups and Vicky? Timmy, it's out of control. She's trying to force us scouts to admit that cream pups are better than we are. <laughs> I thought it might be something like that. You better get back to Camp Squirrely, soldier. Timmy, yes, Timmy! Cream pump is up ahead. The techniques you've been using up to now won't work on their home turf. We need a plan. I've got to get close to Vicky to foil her insane plan. A wish would probably be in order. Ignore him, Timmy. We girls will 
Samantha? I don't think so. Is that a French name? I've, um, I've been on special assignment <laughs> reporting directly to Vicky. She'll be mad if she doesn't hear what I have to tell her. Vicky, <laughs> mad? Come in, Samantha, ma'am. knew the secret dance steps needed to enter the tent of their over lady, Vicky. No! Uh, the steps are super secret. Inner circle and all that. I do need them. Well, each of us scouts found a single secret dance step. You cream puffs guard them carefully. No! Uh, what's your step? That's slightly embarrassing. Okay, get out of here. I'll check with the other scouts to learn the whole dance. Step. Watch closely. Impressive. You're a slick mover. I'm gonna get out of here. Good luck, weird cream puff girl. Hi. I'm trying to foil the evil plans of Vicky, and I need steps for a secret dance code. Maybe you have one? I guess I do. Here goes. This isn't even beginning to make sense. Well, I hope things work out. Thanks for the rescue. Rebellion, evil Vicky, need your death step. Pardon? Look, I'm rescuing you. Give me your part of the secret dance. Ugh, dancing's so girly, but okay. Thanks. Run and don't look back. <laughs> Hi there. Are you ready to dance the secret? Madness. The more badges Vicky has, the more power 
power she has. How can we break the wish? I hear something. Oh, no, it's Vicky. Twerp. That's it. You're mine. My badges. <laughs> my beautiful badges. No. Timmy Turner! Uh-oh. Maybe I better run away now. Oh, no. She's going to catch me. Stay positive. She might catch you, but tomorrow's not a school day. So keep running. Don't forget to avoid or jump over stuff. comic books. Aw, but I haven't read the latest issue yet. Maybe I could get some ideas from the Crimson Chin. Who are you talking to, Lame Brain? Uh, you're talking to your dumb comics? Wow, you're lamer than I thought. And I thought you were pretty lame. Hey, I'm a kid. I'm supposed to have an imagination. I wish I could spoil your childhood fun. I wish the Crimson Chin became completely useless. And I wish you were trapped in his world so you could see just how pathetic comic books really are. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, no. Vicky's wish is already coming true. The Crimson Chin is useless in this issue. Luckily, the second half of her wish hasn't worked. Maybe I should keep my mouth shut. Chin 
his secret identity, Captain Cosmo! <laughs> You have two wish stars, or one binary star. Mmm, pointy! It might scratch the paintwork of these fine vehicles. You need to find two more stars, sweetie. Good luck shines like a star. News just in, a villain with tremendous strength has raided the first bank of Cincinnati. Tremendous strength? Could this villain have the chin strength? Mm, I guess it had to go somewhere. There, the villain's escaped to the other panel. We have to chase the villain, Cleft, but we'll need to make a wish first. It's questing time. <laughs> Don't think it's trying to, hon. 
charismatic person could dissuade such a dedicated man from his work. Not spatula woman. Can she have the crimson chin's charisma? And if so, can she be stopped? I'll bet she left through that open window. Arm yourself with a wish before you investigate. Never fear. Cleft is here. Your chinarang? What about the chinarang? Good call, Captain Cosmo. Let's do it. I can't hurl your chinarang. It'll knock evildoers into next week. But not literally. Right to the window. Bachelor Woman's trail leads from there. Don't forget your catchphrase. Oh, yeah. Um, cleft washes whiter than wine. Oh, that's some sloppy catchphrase work there, cleft. Well, here we are in an alley. There's only one way Bachelor Woman could go, Cap. She's not getting any nearer. Let's go. It's a platinum foil and box. This is number blue wizard lemon and a gateway chin Nevertheless, your heroism stops here. Justice will never rest, you utensil-wielding floozy. We'll see. You have two choices, Clef. Join me, or become a patty beneath my mighty spatula. In your dreams, you'll never corrupt Chin Power! Thanks, How great it seems. Thank you. 
of how great a team we are. police have been humiliated by a mysterious long-legged villain. Gilded arches. I've seen him in the Crimson Chin comic book. He is evil, but Rhythmic rejects it. His tremendous speed. It must be the Crimson Chins. We'll need a wish to keep pace with this disco deviant. Evildoers, beware! It's a platinum foil embossed gatefold numbered Blue Wizard limited edition chin card. Uh, is that good? No match for my legs, I 
will help you open a roof top. And that can deal with those villainous goons. Every resourceful. I, Clef, the boy Chin Wonder, have just the thing. Sidekick Fairy, please activate the Chin Grapple Glove. Sidekick? Why, I, uh, at least he said please. Target grappling areas by looking around and firing. And press action to punch with the force of a thousand chins. Do you have your catchphrase ready? It's chin swinging time. Give chase, Clef. Look around to find spots to shoot your grapple at. Swing from roof to roof like a blind squirrel. Whee! Where is the flying squirrel anyhow? Is it her day off? on the skill of the boy Chin Wonder. These powers shouldn't be in the hands of villains. It's all Vicky's fault. We should arrest her.
the Crimson Chin speed is safely back where it belongs. <laughs> Or maybe not so safely. So, Chin, may I call you Chin? You certainly may, Anchorman, but don't talk to me. As we stand here on this historic day, Bear Cincinnati safe once more, and its dedicated protector, me, once more restored to his shining peak of chinhood. We have but one brave sidekick to thank. Congratulations, Clef, faithful boy Chin Wonder. Thanks to your heroic efforts, these fine people are safe once more. Wow! Clef, how did you do it? Why did you do it? What did you do? Well, you see, my babysitter stole the Chin's superpowers because my dog nerds lost their magic powers. So then I came into the comic book to try and help and also find pages of the rules. And, uh, I'm sorry. I must have taken a blow to my head during the fight. What I mean is... With one mighty leap, our hero was free! <laughs> Guys! Ah, there you are, Clef! Being Clef is fun, but I feel like being ordinary, mild-mannered Timmy Turner for a while. Can you fix it? Sure thing, hon! <laughs> my collection in the back. It's all slippery and wobbly! 
in the back.
in a domestic kind of way. Oh, you look so handsome when you do the housework. She always tries telling me that, but I don't believe her. Ha! I'd like to see that, that thing out there frighten me now. <laughs> Reach. You don't need any help messing up your homework, Vicky. Not if these answers are anything to go by. What? Are you saying that my answers are wrong? My answers are so not wrong! And I quote, <clears throat> Egyptian pyramids are called pyramids because of their distinctive, that spelled wrong, cube shape. What's wrong with that? Uh, Vicky, pyramids are pyramids, you know, like big pointy triangles. I don't care. My answers are better anyhow. Rat. I wish you could see that history would have been so much better the way I wrote it. Uh-oh. I guess I shouldn't annoy Vicky while she's got magic powers. Now go away. My homework's all done. I get to relax with chocolate and the latest issue of Evil Babysitter Monthly. Ooh, a whole section on psychological torture. Wrong. <laughs> Me, the great Vicky. <laughs> that squirt's so out of it. It's like he's living in the past. Money, 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 money
Ah, uh, Timmy. Good day to thee, bizarre strangers. Oh, would that I could offer more passionate greeting, but woe, mine is a soul sick with disappointment. I am called Arthur, by the way. How are you called? Usually by shouting. People are always shouting at me from yonder and the like, forsooth. I'm Timmy. Why are you so sad? Oh, a malady afflicts me. Tomorrow's dawn heralds a great event, a sword drawing competition. For many days have I anticipated this reverie, yet alas, I cannot compete, as my jealous sister has contrived to implicate me in her own naughty schemes. Verily, am I grounded. What did he say? He's sad because his sister framed him, and now he's not allowed to take part in this sword-pulling competition. This is Vicky's fault. Her homework says that the sword Excalibur was pulled from the stone by a girl. And because whoever pulled the sword from the stone became Britain's ruler, in Vicky's version we have Queen Morgana, not King Arthur. Um, thy tongue is passing strange, sir. I do not understand thee. Perhaps thine ears be filled with wax. Don't worry, Sir Arthur, sir. I'll fix this. I have a cutting plan. You'll have to cross using those stepping stones. Don't be wet. They haven't invented the clothes dryer yet. Poor horse cars Something looks wrong. Why is that ground a different color? Hey, that's medieval mump grass. A powerful remedy against the oily diseases such as gray snot and floating toe. Actually, I think it's probably a trap. Try not to step on it. <laughs> Look, a knight. We can't let anyone else see us, Timmy. Why not? I want to show off my superior knowledge of science and philosophy and TV shows. Why is right, Cosmo. We could change history just by being here. There's no point in fixing Vicky's mistakes if I'm just going to make more of my own. We should be able to sneak past people if we're skillful. Excalibur. 
He must be the true king of England. I must tell everyone. This car just saw Arthur pull out the sword. The magic war act. Timmy, don't let him see you with the sword. I've got to get the sword back to Arthur. Head for the wall. We'll never make it out through the castle. this day, but you have Excalibur. A guard saw me pull it out while I was disguised to look like you. Oh, don't ask. But if you take it back, you can pull it out again and prove that you're the one true king. Oh, I bear thanks to you. If I am to become king, I will have the means to well reward you. Oh, how nice! I'd love one of those big, blousy frock women wear here. Oh, no time, Arthur, but it was nice to meet you. I feel the pull of homework. Hope you get a sense of a language sometime soon. And Rose, and watch out for that Lancelot. He's trouble. Yay, I'm king. <laughs> How cool is that? Hot Sandy. Egypt. We're in ancient Egypt, guys. Oh, wow. Luckily, I speak ancient Egyptian. I, weird dog-headed man, little bird. That means, oh, I've had a tough trip. Okay, Timmy, what did Vicky not know about Egypt? Well, everything is the obvious answer. But I think our main problem is the pyramids. Vicky thought they were cute. Square pyramids? That's weird. You can stack them up a lot easier that way. So we have to convince the builders that a pyramid is the new in shape for tombs this season? That's about the size of it. Bird-headed man by a throne carrying an egg. That means let's get on with it.
A button! I bet they've got something good! Or is that good? Is he sick? Egyptians didn't invent sports. They invented a lot of things. 
I know. I was just there. We have to turn these Greek gourmets onto sports, guys, or I'll never get to see another Super Bowl or World Series again. And that I cannot allow. I'm gonna have to avoid people again? Well, I'm gonna say some sorry. Don't look at us, Mr. Guard! We're not here! going to wish for? Beats me. That's your job, Timmy. So as far as you care, I can wish for something stupid, like a hammer or a cheese eel. One hammer and one chisel. Now let's find some statues. Good wish, hon. We're proud of you. There's some great pottery around here. Look, a Greek urn. What's a Greek urn? More than we do. <laughs>
to really take in the sport. Wow, they should do this every four years. Does that fix all of Vicky's tampering with time, Timmy? I think so, which means time to go. Goodbye, ancient Canada. I love you. It's Greece. Greece. Yeah, Greece. Greece is the word. It's got groove and it's got meaning. Greece is the time. It's the place. It's the motion. Okay, I'm leaving now. just got back and you're already at DEF CON 4. If you mess up my history homework, Timmy Turner, I'll kick your butt and any other part of you my leg will reach. Hold on, haven't we been here before? Yeah, you always show up to annoy me just when it's time to relax. You finished your homework then? Yes, I have, and it's all correct. I am a genius, so all my answers must be correct. I'm not so sure. No, Timmy, don't make her wish the same wish again. Looks like we got back before we left. Be careful. What? Are you saying that my answers are wrong? My answers are so not wrong. Oh, no. You're right. A genius can't be wrong. I agree with you completely. I've been all through time and space, and Vicky is still the dumbest person I've met. She's my babysitter this weekend. I have to go to school, too. It's so unfair. Ah, uh, she'll probably make some dumb wish, too. At least that would give us the chance to find more pages of the rules. That's if my teacher, Crackpot Crocker, doesn't detect the wish power and try to get it for himself. Ooh, I don't like him. Adults shouldn't believe in fairies. It's madness. And he won't stop until he proves that we exist. I don't want to be proved. Out of the way, twerp. there. You just got unlucky. I'm always unlucky. I wish you got all my bad luck for a day. Then you'd see how difficult my life can be. Did you hear that? Bad luck, she said. That Timmy Turner doesn't know what he's in for. Here we are, in school, on a Saturday. How could life possibly get any worse? Nah, it's creepy here. It feels empty, with a silence that I don't like. All the other kids are at home, hon. Probably having fun. Ah, no! What's wrong with you guys? Yeah! Timmy! We're in trouble. That was unlucky. That's what we're trying to tell you. The school is full of anti-fairies. They bring bad luck. I can't see anything. Here, try these. Hello, Timmy Turner. You know, you're quite famous in the fairy world. We've always wanted to play with you. Back! Back, evil anti-fairies! <laughs> oh, no! Anti-fairies in the school and us with no powers! I smell Vicky! Worse still, if Mr. Crocker finds the anti-fairies, he can use them to prove his theory. We have to catch the anti-fairies before he notices them. We have no choice but to look for wish stars. We're gonna need wishes to get out of this one! We only got one star! Find it some friends! Not to mention being really bad luck. Two more stars. I 
I can feel my wand twitching. Oh, what a terrible danger! Crimson 
and chin cards, even if we get complicated in school, because they're not educational. But you learned everything you know from the Crimson Chip. really unlucky, but I shall dispense with the opportunity to put your mother in traction and instead try and get you to break your back, little boy. <laughs> no! You make me mad! and your spine is still in one piece. I wasted a crack stepping for this. I'm still gonna suck you into my neck. Go on, hit me! Oh. 
to me. Me if you can. Thank <laughs> you. 
Like you should have been terrified of my book-based bad luck. I'm not scared of your books or your luck. Prepare to be magnetic trial Let that Abby Fairy have it, Timmy. No, keep it for yourself and use it. Oh, I see. Sorry. <laughs> Catching them doing my shopping. But please bring yourself into my defensive stasis fields after the tone, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Babe! I can get through those fields. I just have the tire right. Catching layer and his new super secret fairy detecting and catching van. Wow, you know a lot. Hey, let's let the air out of his tires now, Cosmo. We shouldn't be encouraging such antisocial behavior. I've got a better idea since these anti fairies are under our control now. There, one anti fairy with my compliments. That'll keep Crocker off our backs for a while. Crimson chin cards. Kids usually get confiscated in school. Because they're not educational. But you learned everything you know from the crimson chin. Oh, <laughs> 
my beautiful van. I guess Crocker's fairy catching van caught a fairy after all, but not in the way he expected. <laughs> Actually, it was a refreshing change. Oh no, not this time. <laughs> so you're right. Okay, that does it. Aha, a babysitter. They're always fun. That was a great day. Yeah, we kept Fairy World a secret, beat the anti fairies, and collected some pages of the rules. store is looking for fine animals like yourself. Sweetums, what does it do? Cosmo Wanda, 
You've got to help. Hey, that's my voice. Oh, my. It's a doggy translator. You're my hero, sweetie. Yeah, I know. Well, what are you waiting for? I wish I was a human again. Sorry, hon, but something's wrong. I don't think we're that short on power. Huh? Maybe someone is in love with the Timmy dog. We can't use magic to interfere with true love. Oh, no. I bet it's Tootie, Vicky's little sister. She said she loved me, so I ran away and got captured and sold to this pet store. Then we have to convince her not to love you, which might be difficult because you're so cute. So you can't turn me back into human unless I make Tootie fall out of love with me. Also, I have to escape the pet store and the whole mall. What a horrible situation. Let's escape and we'll think about how to make you unlovable as we go. We should shave all your fur off. Then you'd be bald. <laughs> yeah, but you'd be ugly. Well, all ideas are useful, dear. You keep trying. It may take a little time to get used to being a dog, hon. You should try stuff and do what a dog does. You mean like sniffing other dogs' butts? Yuck! I meant like jumping and looking around for useful stuff. Wow! It's a smelly dog! Ew! Stinky! Jimmy! Come here, you cute little puppy! Ew! Stinky! Yes. One tiny cute wish star! Steve, a dog! Happy! Oh, look at Judy! This is no place for dogs! Don't slip in the puddle, puppy! Only guide dogs allowed. Dogs run really fast. Steve, a dog. Okay, yes. please start, you adorable little pup. Yes, you are. Run on it, sir. After it. I think you look beautiful in a dress, doggy. Can you find one more star? Can you? Good doggy. A dog! Thief! A dog! I got five stars! I can make a wish! Only guys, you're small enough to fit that ventilation chap! It's the only way to go! Jimmy, we can't make you human because Tootie is in love with your doggy form, but we can do other stuff. Okay then, I need to be able to see in the dark. There you go, puppy. We've given you doggy night vision. Hey, your eyes glow. It's actually kind of scary. Yes. One slightly chewed wish star. Raise the forklift. Then we can reach that vent. Oh, look, look! We can't get through here. We'll have to find a route through the vent. This doesn't look good. But you gotta keep going. Just time it carefully. We don't want to visit the vent today. Thank you, buddy. Star now, ready to go. Set. Oh, outside! I miss it so much! Easy, sugar plum. We'll escape somehow. Or my name is in Cosmo. But your name isn't Cosmo T. Kirk. <laughs> yes, you found the Crimson Chin card. Don't chew it. This is a great idea. The floor moves so we don't have to. It's not all fun, hon. This place isn't designed for dogs. I'll have to time when I dash it. 
things. I guess even love can be foiled by an effective smear campaign. I 
Find the control room. Deep, deep. But I'm not Crash Nebula. You're better. You're real. Deep, deep the alien guards and take. Yeah. They won't kidnap my neighborhood. Not if I can help it. That's the spirit. Did you say something, Cosmo, honey? Take control of the ship and rescue Mickey. Rescue Mickey? Not if I can help it.
What is this? Who is this tiny earth creature? He controls our ship. He must be a mighty warrior. You have no right to kidnap people. 
or suck out their brains with bendy straws. <laughs> the small one appears to be challenging us. So be it. Tell the Earth Warrior of the three tests, irritating rhyming guard. Tests? Yes, sir. <clears throat> To save your people, you must be as strong and fearless as are we. First test of three, a test of power. You must cross the field of flowers. What's the catch? Come on, Kimmy. Let's go these oily alien footwear made out. But not literally, honey. If flowers fail to fell our foe, we'll hide our fearful looks of woe and ask the warrior if he's ready to face the terror of the teddies. This planet is really weird. I've seen weirder. Bears give even me nightmares. Do these earthlings know nothing of fear? Only the mighty come this far, but the toughest test of all remains the horror of the chocolate bar, filled with sugar, packed with pain. His rhyming pattern changed. I think he's scared, poor dear. One more test to go. What terror will this test present? It looks perfectly safe to me. Most glutinous queen. Our space empire stands at the crossroads. One wrong word may ruin us all. Look, I just want all the Earth people restored to exactly as they were before you invaded, okay? Well, yes, of course. <laughs> all will be restored, oh foulest of beings. And I'll have that in writing, please. <laughs> the hideous word, please, fails to burn his tongue. And now, Noxious one, I will honor our bargain.
move. It looks like everything worked out perfectly. I'm leaving that. Remember there being a door here before? It's a door to Fairy World. We must have found all the pages of the rules. Yippee! That was fun. Can we do it all again? No! No! If I talk. Oh, of course, Your Honor. I was only talking to these sniveling worms. Timmy Turner, Cosmo and Wanda, you have recovered all but one of the pages of the rules. But I thought we got them all. All except the table of contents page. And according to very legal statute, 3,483,707 subsection CZA, paragraph one and a quarter, that one page is all Vicky needs to keep Cosmo and Wanda's wish powers. There must be a way for Timmy to appeal! But Timmy's appealing to everybody! Your only chance to avoid losing your fairy licenses forever is to take the ultimate challenge! Alright, I'll do it! Very well. Take it away, Jorgen! Silence! Well, the audience! Good evening and welcome to the ultimate challenge. Tonight on the show, this puny weakling will attempt to restore the powers and fairy license of his godparents. Now you may cheer. The only way to emerge victorious is to make your opponent say, I wish I never took the book from Timmy. This will require you to activate the magic speech tiles in the arena. However, I doubt a weakling such as yourself will be able to manage this task. This is your ultimate challenge! And now, let us meet your opponent and arch nemesis, Vicky! Cool! I love TV! For legal reasons, Vicky will not be able to hear anything that any parent says and will be supplied with a free mind wipe after the show. Hey, Timmy, it'll be easy with our help. And to ensure this is the ultimate challenge, Vicky will be turned into a dragon. Your costume! Makes my butt look a little big, though. Begin the ultimate challenge! The ultimate challenge is brought to you by Snuff Friend Magic Wand, the ultimate one for the ultimate fairy. I'm gonna stop you black, twerp! Why am Prince Vicky into pounding those funny looking smiles, sweetie? Uh, you have to get her to say, I wish I never took the book from Timmy. <laughs>
has prevailed to be terror. You fairy god terror are reinstated. You have beaten the ultimate challenge! Next time on the ultimate challenge, I will personally defeat 402 ogres using only my gigantic ego! You will watch it now! I mean, then! Is everything fixed? Can I wish again? Let's find out! Go ahead, punk. Make a wish. I wish I had cake. And I wish I was a cake. All is well with the world. Cosmo and I have our wish powers back. We got the rules back! And I have cake. Nothing could be sweeter. Who are you talking to, twerp? I heard voices. <sighs> I was having a wonderful dream. I was on a game show and I was trying to crush you flatter than a pancake. No one here, Mickey. See? Ah, there's my book. Oh, oh. Clap. Timmy, we're home. We didn't have loads of fun this weekend, honestly. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 I, I think I swallowed something. Time to get paid, twerp. See you around, loser. Phew, that was a close one. Everything's back to normal at last. Took a little longer than usual this time. And no moral or anything. It just goes to show you, there's nothing three friends can't sort out if they work together. You just had to do it, didn't you? Why am I laughing? <laughs> 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 <laughs>